broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track. So in Iowa, um, your biggest challenge, I guess, is the early frost. I mean, you're getting cooler weather Actually, much quicker. Actually, we or have it? it this year. Our weather, we're, we're having Indian summer. What's so, up with that? I don't know. It was 80 degrees last week, and I was loving it because this time of year last year we had snow, you know, and we have to worry about that. Right. I probably live in an area where it snows six months out of the year, you know. And wow. It's got to be hard, and we make a lot of sweet wines. We don't we don't have the right terroir in Iowa to grow the type of grapes they have here, so we have different varietals than, than you have here. But even so, you know, our our summer was pretty different too. I mean, it was very hot for a while. Very hot, right? Um, we didn't really have, it rained the whole month of June, which is mm. unusual. And we had a lot of tornadoes this year too. <laughs> so, you know, it was like wipeout. Tornadoes, well, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. No, no tornadoes. <laughs> we don't have that problem here. Earthquakes, but eh, that's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. Yeah. The vines don't I mean, care about that. I think every area of the country has their own challenges, you know. Sure, but, um, sure. I spoke with Castle Ridge, and they were harvesting back in August, and we were excited about it. So I'm assuming that they did really well. Yeah. We'll have to find out when it well, comes again, So Yeah, I think a lot of it is certain varietals, right? I mean, that's what, kind of what you, you, you've seen as well out in the marketplace, yeah, right? Yeah, I want to ask you a question, too. You hear a lot of people are dropping fruit, which dropped a lot of fruit before we got mm -hmm. the record highs. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting everything as well? And maybe explain why you're doing that. Well, uh, when you have not as much heat out there to get the, the crop ripe, um, you need the energy of the vine to focus on fewer clusters to get the job done. So you'll go out and actually drop fruit off so that the energy of the vine can really focus in and you can get nutrients and flavors into the remaining clusters. So that, that's another area that gets, you know, one of the strategies that you have in vineyard management to try and get the quality of the fruit where it needs to be to make great wine. That affects your yields as well. That affects yields as well. Another, yeah, another big challenge. Absolutely. So tonight, what I'd like uh, my guests to do is, is uh, uh, really be as interactive as you can. If you haven't asked questions before, uh, there's a little dialogue box to the right of the video. Go ahead and type.